Mo Norman is known as one of the best ball strikers to ever play the game of golf. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a drill that he loved to share with the students to help them hit the ball much better, much more consistently. But I'm going to add a slight twist on that to help you guys at home to digest that and make this drill a little bit more user friendly. So without further ado, let's find out what that drill is all about. So what is Mo Norman's drill all about? Well, to start with, we need to understand one really clear distinction between the pro move and the amateur move. And that move is the difference between when we change direction from backswing into downswing. In the pro game, we would tend to see people either maintain their height or even go down a little bit coming into the golf ball. Whereas in the amateur move, more often than not, we tend to see people gain height into the hitting area and that can cause us all sorts of consistency and strike issues. Now, one of the main moves would be if we are losing our relationship to the floor, it's going to be much more challenging for us to strike the ground and turn lots of tops and things of what you might see. As a compensation to that, you might see people lose their rotation to have to extend this golf club to get the golf club close to the floor. It can cause all sorts of low point, club face control issues, and the swing becomes much more of a timing-based move rather than a functional, conventional move. So what we're going to look at today is really going to look to battle that. Now, as we said, Mo Norman had a really good drill that he liked to give to people to help them strike the ball much more consistently. And, and the way he described it was to feel like the golf club was staying as low to the floor for as long as possible. And that's what gave him this really distinct move and follow through on the way through the hitting area that many of you might know if you've seen him hit a golf club in the past. And a drill that he quite liked to do if he was on a grass driving range would put a tee down two or three inches in front of the golf ball and get them to understand that feeling by trying to strike that tee and really feeling like that golf club was staying as low to the floor for as long as possible. And that's not a bad idea at all. And if you are someone who particularly fats the golf ball, so you see the golf club land into the ground some particular way, and you want to shift that location more forwards, I think it's a really good drill for you. However, I would mix it up a little bit for you guys who are definitely more in the, the kind of thins to top type region, because I would want this task or the, this kind of impact geometry of the golf club landing down and ahead of the golf ball to happen more naturally. Now, what I mean by that is typically what you'll sometimes see, especially people who gain height with this task, is they'll understand that they want to get the hands more forwards, lead hand more in line with the lead hip and all that kind of stuff, but you can get all these kind of funky moves, big kind of gap in between the lead arm and lead rib cage, which looks a little bit disconnected, which I personally am not a massive fan of. And if you do get the hands more forwards and maintain this lean, that's actually going to lift the golf club up from the floor. So if I'm lifting the golf club up from the floor, and I'm still higher up the floor, then if anything, I'm gonna raise that golf foot further, which isn't particularly great for our ball striking consistency and quality. So for this Mo Norman type idea to happen more naturally, what I like people generally to understand is to maintain my height and therefore to strike the ground and hit it more ahead of the golf ball, the glue to this is we need to feel like we are rotating through the hitting area. It's the only way we're gonna maintain our height and get the golf club traveling through the golf ball, not at the golf ball. Remember, the golf swing is a circular motion, and to create a circle, the rotation of the golf swing is a big component of that. Now, what you'll notice is if I was to lift and gain height, like a lot of us do, this right shoulder would maintain a lot of height coming into the hitting area. So a feeling that I quite like to achieve, Mo Norman's drill, and essentially keep the golf club down for a little bit longer, but to do it in a way where that's going to happen naturally is to feel like this right shoulder is rotating down and through the ball. Like this right shoulder is really covering the ball into and through the hitting area. This is going to allow you to maintain your height stroke posture. It's going to do it in a way where you're rotating through the hit and this kind of shaft lean, the landing of the golf club and the golf club staying down low for longer will happen more naturally rather than some th something which can sometimes be seen as a bit more of a forced move. So, to recap that, what do we want to feel? Well, if we can feel like this right shoulder is covering the ball into through the hitting area, we keep our height, we start to see the strike, and that's the type of feeling that we want to see to build a much more consistent and reliable goal strike from there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop me a comment on the comment section down below. For any online or in-person lessons, drop me a follow on the Skillist app, search David Atkins, and drop me a message from there. But until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. You are the wifey type, baby, you could be one. Let me change your life. I could show you many reasons, different seasons. Hop in my bag and I stay in it. Hit from the back and I stay in it. He is not damn, no play.